Hello, this is Morgan with Landmark Implement, and today we will be going over the GS3 2630 and setting up guidance. So here I have pulled up my home screen on my 2630 display to make sure that we have everything set up properly for our guidance. We're going to make sure, or we're going to go into our menu, GS3 and complete our documentation setup. So this includes resources, equipment, and documentation, or GH&I. So first we want to go into resources, make sure we have everything set up correctly here. We have inputted a client farm and field and added a documentation or a task. This For this instance, we will be doing planting and we will be in crop season 2021. Next, we will move over to our equipment and set up our machine. We have our machine model and machine name, as well as our connection type to the implement that we're pulling, in this case, planter. We'll also want to make sure that our offsets are set correctly on our machine so that we have the most accurate guidance and mapping that we can get. I suggest pulling out a tape measure and actually taking these measurements that are marked here on this machine offsets page. We'll then click over to the implement tab and select our planner. For this instance, I have a 775 NT, uh, 16 row, 30 inch, two point, like I had set up uh, for my connection on the machine side. We're going to want to double check our offsets in here as well. Get out, take some measurements if we haven't done that before um, to get the most accurate mapping that we can get. Down on this bottom section, you can go in here and change your widths and your measurements for your rows and your row spacing, as well as the physical width and what you want for the sections. Our last tile for documentation will be this document or the I tile. And this is where we will go in and set up our crop type that we will put, be putting down. You can assign different rows if you're doing um, multiple varieties in one planter and adjust from there. Our last page will be our guidance page and we'll just go in here to make sure that we have everything set up correctly. Uh, so that when we hit that auto track button, then we're ready to go and it'll lock onto that line. So we want to watch out for this circle with the four quadrants. We call it the pie. Right now it only has one, so it's not ready. We're going to go into this second quadrant here by setting a track or setting a line. If you've done this for multiple years or just have other guidance lines already made, you will find them in your current track dropdown. For our case, we'll be doing a new one. Name it and hit accept. We'll select the method that we want. I'm going to select AB heading. We'll be on John Deere guidance line calculation and our desired heading, we want to go straight, so I'm just going to keep it at zero for the sake of this video. We'll go ahead and set the point that we're sitting at as A, and then our heading will be zero, so this should be able to create our line. So then when we come back to our guidance page, we have all of these guidance lines set up for us, and our second quadrant of the pi is then lit up. The third quadrant of the Pi is going to be turning on our auto steer. So we'll hit turn steer on or hit the button on your control or on your command arm and it will fill in that third Pi. And then the last Pi will go in once we start rolling and have our auto button selected on our command arm or on our controller. You will know that your guidance is on and working 
when all of the pie is filled in, your circle is turned green and you have the big A for auto track on. If you're having issues with your guidance, you can go into your guidance settings or if you want to select a different track type, we can select those here underneath guidance settings. If you have a previous line that you just want to shift over, you can come in here and do that. We do not suggest using this very often or adjusting these increments very much. You could get it confused and mess up your lines. The auto track advanced settings is going to be your line ses sensitivity tracking, heading tracking, heading lead, um, and you're able to move these around to your liking on how you want your tractor to find that line and how aggressive you want it to be. And that should be everything that you need to get you going with your guidance on your 2630 during planting.